Project Charter. Amira is a project manager for UNITAS, an aid organization working to reduce rates of waterborne illness in nearby communities. Yesterday, she was officially assigned to the project. She has made the project log frame and the high-level project plan and is excited to launch project activities. She's already planning to start visiting communities and hiring staff. Not so fast. While it is tempting for Amira to move forward immediately, it is risky to start any project without first completing a project charter. The project charter is a document that is signed by decision makers to approve the project for funding, and it is one of the most valuable tools for a project manager for the following reasons. One, it formally announces the start of the project. Two, it communicates the high-level parameters of the project to stakeholders inside and outside the organization. Three, it authorizes the project manager to allocate resources, people, cash, equipment, etc. The project charter is short, usually three to four pages, and provides a high-level summary of the details of the project, including needs, scope, justification, calendar, as well as budget, assumptions, and risks. A project charter should also include a section that describes the key roles of those supporting the project, including the governance structure for decision-making, the project manager, key team members, and implementing partners. The project charter should be treated as a living document. As the project gets underway, UNITAS and its stakeholders must update the project charter with any major changes. However, it is critical that all changes be recorded in a revised document and that they be signed off by key decision-makers in the project.